Hello Abacus users, I am Fahim Shah and today we are going to solve this problem. You can see that we have a soil moss and a landlord is applying on it and we need to find the vertical stresses under the load and we are going to solve it by using Abacus. Problem strategy is that uh, a vertical line of load of 10 kN per meter is applied at the surface of see mean finite soil moss uh, calculate the increase in vertical stress directly under the applied load for z equal to 3 0 z equal to 0 to z equal to 0.3 meter using the finite element method and assuming that the soil is linear elastic with elastic modulus value 1 multiplied by 10 minus for 7 kPa and Poisson ratio of 0.3 here you can see the geometry of the soil 1 meter by 2 meter which uh, we are going to put in the vacuous and we will apply this load at the center of this geometry and then we will assign boundary conditions same as as shown here and on the next slide these are the meshing details which we will discuss later on and we are going to find this curve depth versus vertical stresses as we know that when we are just under the uh, load we have the maximum stresses and you can see here depth equal to zero and we have maximum stresses as we go downward the depth increases so the stresses also decreases and we are going to simulate this curve I have already done this simulation and you can see that we obtain this spot uh, uh, this crop by using uh, abacus so now let's move toward the uh, abacus first of all uh, we have to go to the pot module in the pot module we will click on create pot in the create pot we will name it soil we will select uh, some modeling space 2d planner type deformable and shell from here approximate size you can assume we are going to model rectangular so we will select rectangular option from here click on the first corner so i'm clicking on the x equal to zero y equal to zero so and then the next so one comma two and enter now click on this done and you have the geometry one meter by two meter now i have to do the partitions so go to tools click on the partitions select face from here then sketch method uh, create lines and first point second point then dimensions click on this point and this point and we know that uh, we have the dimension of 0 0.5 meter so it's okay if uh, you want to increase or decrease the dimension you can type here and press ok now i have draw the sketch so now we can do the uh, partition so partition has done inside now next uh, next module go to the next module property module I click on create uh, edit material and I will type here soil then mechanical properties and select elastic type isotropic young modulus and we know that young modulus is 1 multiplied by 10 to the power 7 kPa so we will keep the units in uh, newton per meter and kP will we will convert kPa into kilonewton so 1 10 e to the power uh, 1 e to, 1 e to the power 10 and Poisson ratio of 0 0.3 and then okay next we have to create sections 
and are our type of soil solid homogeneous cantilever material soil okay now we have to assign section select the soil done soil from here section and okay so the next step is the assembly i will create on instances click on create instances uh, independent apply okay so here is the assembly now i'm going to add the step module and we will create strip so we will create static genre from here continue i will select non linear on here i will get one second uh, increment initial increment i will put it 0.1 and okay now next step is the loading step uh, here i have to apply load and keep in mind that we have to apply load in the step one in the concentrated force i will select a type of selected step and we will select concentrated force from here again angle concentrated force continue now select the point for the load so this is the loading point select done now the z direct in the y direction minus 10 kilo newton so i will put minus 10 and it to the power 3 and okay now the boundary conditions so we will select initial step in displacement rotation mechanical displacement rotation continue i will select this side and then i will press uh, press uh, shift and click on the other side so both are selected done now this and you can see from here that uh, roller are uh, roller supports are inserted here so you will constrain the left and right side in the x direction now again on the body conditions initial mechanical displacement rotation continue select the bottom surfaces done and restrain it in the vertical and horizontal direction you can see this now we have done with the load module the next step is the meshing step first we have to now let's see on the slides the meshing detail is a two-dimensional plane strain finite element mesh is used uh, 20 elements in the x direction and 40 elements in the z direction and the element chosen is four node bilinear plane strain quadrilateral element first we have to change select the uh, element and from here i will select the assign element type select the whole uh, whole geometry done from here i will select the plane strain it is mentioned here plane strain four node by linear so i will select plane strain from here you can see plane strain uh, you can see uh, now uncheck the reduce integration you can see that a four node bilinear plane strain quadrilateral element is being selected in ok now we can assign the mesh controls select done from here quad structure ok now we have to assign seed we have to assign seeds to the edges i will select these vertical edges done and now from here i will uh, check on the by number from here single now we have to number of elements i will um, i will do little bit changes in the um, element number um, in order to make it more finer so that we can uh, obtain uh, accurate results then from by ratio 10 and select and done so that we can uh, change the direction 
apply and okay from the select the other edges now done i will select these edges in order to uh, to request a subice direction and i will select a number of elements uh, 13 one, let's select 20 20 here so apply and ok now click on the mesh a mesh on thought ok so we, you can see that we have meshed the geometry Now moving toward the next step is the job and we will create job name it simple what you should type I would say line load then continue okay no space between so done continue okay now from here I will click on submit it and now our job has been submitted and now it's running you can click on the monitor and you can see uh, the process here now, uh, now the analysis has been completed we will click on the results you can see the results here now we are going to now we are going to uh, to obtain this curve so for that we need displacement uh, for, we, for that we need depth from 0 to 3 meter and the vertical stresses so for that we need to create path from here i will go to tools and then create path <coughs> i have already a path so let's first delete it okay now tools create path okay path one no let's continue and before now i have to little bit zoom it and I will select this node just uh, the node so I have selected the node just below the location of load uh, you have to select the node where you have applied the load now the, um, uh, now to select the other node just select this point done okay okay now we have to go to the create xy data i will select both from here continue in both one i will select uncheck on undeform and then check this include interaction and from this tip frame i will select the last one apply ok and from the field outputs i will select s22 and the vertical stress is ok and then i will have to make a plot so we have created a plot you can see the curve uh, this one now we have to do is to edit click on the edit select these points uh, these uh, two vertical values and copy and paste in the excel sheet i have pasted it uh, here in the excel sheet and you can see that the x axis is the true distance and the y axis is the stresses so I have to I will say depth and depth is in 
millimeter. Okay. In stresses, in the stresses or in uh, kilo uh, newton per meter. There are in newton per meter. Uh, per meter square. If we look at the curve here, the values are in uh, kilopascal and this is in meters. So we need to convert the stresses into kilopascal. So what we will do, we need to divide it by 1000 so that it would convert into kilonewton per meter square. So you can, we can make it uh, select equal to <coughs> click on this divided by thousand. Okay, and then drag it down. Now we have converted these value into kilonewton. I will copy these values, paste it here. Um, we need to copy these values, paste it here. Now we have to plot a curve. Before that, what uh, we need to do is to remove to make it positive, uh, remove all the negative sign. And what we will do now, go to negative sign before this and then drag it down. Now copy these values, paste it here, and from here, draw a curve. Now what we have to do is to make it in the reverse order so like this and you can see here the maximum will be 0 0.3 so we will change the maximum value equal to 0 0.3 okay and we will bring the horizontal axis to the maximum value close now here what we will do you can see that the maximum value is 600 so we will make it 600 and okay now we have to insert the x, the x axis and y axis x axis name it vertical stresses which is kpa 
in these or depth values in meter let's delete it now we have to insert the uh, this curve if you want to insert to paste this curve into the the plot we have obtained so there is a technique for it you can double click in the center and then fill it with the picture or the texture and you can you can obtain i have different so this one is a is the actual picture so you can click and insert and okay and you can see that we have obtained this code after editing you can see that we have obtained this code uh, by using a backus the triangular one is obtained by using FEM method in the line you can see the Bosnian method I hope you have enjoyed this problem please keep watching my channel for further videos thank you